going back to our first file, we are now going to practice how to create captions in MS Word. Now, whenever you're working on your technical reports or your thesis or whatever formal document you have, you may need to put some figure number or diagram number or table numbers in your objects. For example, this one should be diagram 1, this one should be diagram 2, and so on. Now, it may happen that you do not have all your diagrams yet, but you want to put captions for your existing diagrams. And MS Word can actually give you a number to be assigned for that diagram automatically. So instead of you trying to figure out what order or what diagram number you are supposed to give this certain object, MS Word can figure that out for you. For example, this is supposed to be our figure 1 and this is our figure 2. Now I'm going to create a caption for this using references insert caption. As you could see, MS Word is now asking what should be the caption name or title for this figure. And it's being numbered 1 because it's the very first figure we are putting a label on. So let's say figure 1 heart diagram. Click OK. And as you could see, MS Word automatically created a caption for that. Now, for example, you forgot to put a caption for this one. And you realize that this is supposed to be figure 1, while this one is supposed to be figure 2. Now, if you did the captioning manually, like just regular text, you have to adjust the figure numbers on your own. However, since I used MS Word's automatic captioning, I don't have to think about that. All I have to do is click on that object, again, click References, Insert Caption. As you could see, it's being assigned Figure 1 again because MS Word just detected that this is supposed to be the first figure. This is found before the previous one. So this is Figure 1. So let's say this is our target market diagram. Something like that. Click OK. So now we have figure 1 target market diagram. And let's see what happened to the heart diagram which originally had figure number 1 and it's now figure number 2. So using proper captioning, MS Word can actually figure out what's the number or figure number for that object. So now we know that this one, for example, is supposed to be the third figure. So we'll give it a try again. References, insert caption, and it's now figure 3. And this is our unit sold diagram. Click OK. And you now have figure number 3. So using MS Word's captioning tool, you don't have to think about what figure number you're supposed to assign to that object. MS Word will do that for you. Other than that, just to let you know, it's not just limited to figures. You could also change it to, as instead of figure, you could change it to table number. For example, table 1, table 2, equation 1, equation 2. You could even create your own label using this new label button. Now, there's also another one, another feature that you could maximize whenever you're using automatic captioning. So some technical reports require a table of figures. It's similar to table of contents, but this one is more focused on figures or objects in your report. So let's say I want the table of figure on the last page of my document. So all I have to do is create a new page, and I hope you still remember back in our first video, all I have to do, instead of using enter, 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 I will use control enter in order to insert a page break, which fundamentally creates a new page in your document. 
Now, I then go to References. And then under References, there should be an option here right beside the Insert Caption. It says Insert Table of Figures. So click this one. And similar to how you created Table of Contents, you are now being asked how you want your Table of Figures to look like. Do you want to have a tab leader like the usual dot 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 or ellipsis? Do you want none? Do you want something else? So it's up to you. I'll go for the usual dot dot dot. You could also decide if you want to write align numbers or not. Show page numbers or not. Totally up to you. But once you've decided the design or the layout of your table of figures, all you have to do is click OK and that creates a table of figure in your document. Imagine all the time you will save if you're writing your technical reports, your books, your journals, your thesis, and you need to do something like this. All you have to do is use MS Word's automatic captioning tool found under the reference tab. See you next video.